It's not always easy to find items that I like in stores or online. And sometimes even when the item itself is available, there aren't any in my size. This happens a lot when it comes to statement pieces. As I recently added a few of these to my spring wardrobe, I thought it would be a good time to talk about adding statement pieces to a foundational wardrobe while still maintaining a system and how I style them. First off is this Ami Paris corduroy baseball cap. I've had my eyes on the corduroy cap from Ami for a while. What makes this piece even more special is that it was sourced directly from an Ami boutique in Paris. I always love it when I'm able to visit a brand boutique in its origin country during my travels. Buying something as a souvenir infuses it with that memory. Though I haven't been able to travel anywhere in over a year, it's nice to be able to shop from home and still get items from boutiques around the world. It makes me feel just a bit more connected to what's beyond the walls of my house. It's the same with the second item I got recently, the 4-bar zip from hoodie from Tom Brown. Sourced directly from the Brown's warehouse in the UK, this hoodie has been on my wish list for a long time. Not only is it an iconic piece, but it's hard to get one in the right size and color. Living in a city that doesn't have a lot of boutiques can really limit my choices. I like Farfetch because it makes it easier to track down items I want, sourced directly from boutiques and brands all around the world. While this is not a sponsored video, Farfetch was kind enough to provide me a discount code to share with everyone who's watching. If you've never heard about Farfetch and are interested in checking them out, you can use the discount code YTVEL10 at checkout. I'll share details in the description. Now, when I'm looking for a statement piece, I'm looking for something that is distinct in at least one of the four aspects, color, material, print, and structure. This navy hoodie with four white stripes on the left arm definitely falls into the print category. The bold detailing distinguishes it from other wardrobe basics. If you have seen my video about how to build a minimal wardrobe from scratch, you will know that this hoodie is a perfect piece to elevate that wardrobe foundation while still fitting within the overall system. Sometimes a statement piece can be distinct in both print and color or even material and structure all at the same time. However, this is something that is usually up to your personal style and finding the right balance. To me, in order to maintain a minimal aesthetic, I tend to focus on only one aspect at a time when picking out my statement pieces. Falling under the same category of unique print or pattern as the hoodie we just reviewed, this white t-shirt from Mason Kitsune is my pick for our summer statement piece. Many people might not consider this a statement piece. In fact, many of my statement pieces might not fit someone else's definition. However, considering almost all of my shirts are solid basics, this is definitely an item that will draw the focus when I wear it. The big navy leather print at the front creates such a robust look yet doesn't feel overly busy. The reason I got the shirt in white is because I still wanted to maintain a connection with the rest of my wardrobe, which mostly consists of black, white, and grey garments. If I had picked a different color, such as green or purple, it wouldn't be as versatile. The multi-faceted Paris meets Tokyo brand Mason Kitsune has always been one of my go-to's to check out either wardrobe basics or statement pieces. I can still remember visiting one of the boutiques during my visit to Paris back in 2019. And while I really miss traveling, owning a few items like this one makes me reminisce about visiting those places and does help me feel more connected to those times. Continuing with statement pieces for upper body, this sweater from Ami Paris is great for the spring and fall. If not for the red and white detailing, this could be a simple all-black outfit. When I first saw this sweater online, I was drawn in by the academy style of the stripes on the arms and the big letter A. The great thing about statement pieces is how they give you a chance to display a bit more personality. This one is perfect if you want to project a more playful and sporty vibe. Based on all the pieces I have reviewed so far, you might have noticed that regardless of the unique or bold details, I always try to make sure there's still a connection between the statement piece and the rest of the look. You simply want to avoid piling a bunch of strong visuals all at once. Because if everything in your outfit can be a statement piece by itself, then none are when paired together. In my wardrobe, it's rare to find a pair of pants that qualifies as a statement piece. This pair from Tom Brown might be the one and only pair I own that would give that distinction. The bold iconic 4-stripe detail is almost guaranteed to be the center of attention every time I wear these pants. 
but instead of wearing other white pieces to echo the stripes, I'm actually wearing full gray this time as a complement to the bold white and dark navy contrast. An item that might be considered as a statement piece in one wardrobe might not necessarily be seen as a statement piece in another. Looking at your wardrobe as a whole and owning your personal style can help you define the statement pieces that will work the best for you. There are lots of brands that provide a wide range of designs covering both wardrobe basics and statement pieces. An easy way to make sure your statement pieces will still work with your foundational wardrobe is to browse through your go-to brands first. For those ones that are hard to find or there are no boutiques available near you, Farfetch can be a great place to start. Their ability to source brands and designs from around the world really sets them apart from other platforms I've used. If you check them out, be sure to use the code YTBEL10 at checkout for a discount. Moving on to footwear where there is such a vast range of shoe styles. You can even get a unique pair that features a distinct color, print, material, and structure. But as for me, I would say these blush pink common projects definitely make a statement in my wardrobe because the color really stands out. Of course, pink is a bit of a departure from my standard color scheme, and for that reason, they can be a bit tricky to style. Styling them does require some experimentation. The beauty and practicality of having a lot of neutral basics is being able to find items that can pair well with a piece like this. A statement piece can also be as small as a ring. Now if I say this skull ring by Alexander McQueen is a statement accessory, I don't think anyone would disagree. In fact, it's even quite big as a ring, almost like a wearable sculpture. And it's the structure here that's the highlight. I would say skull rings are almost a secret love of mine. Although I don't wear this one very often due to its impractical size, I enjoy the design of it very much. Whenever I do wear it, I feel like I'm ready to go to a concert. I'm actually very selective when picking out this type of ring. As someone who studied fine art for over 10 years and used to sketch skulls all the time, I'm particular about the shape of them. Regardless of whether the style is abstract or realistic, I need the proportion and structure to be accurate. Otherwise, it will look funny to me and feel poorly crafted. Of course, a statement ring doesn't need to have a skull design. Any other signature ring works just as well. It also doesn't have to be a ring. A statement piece of jewelry can be a bracelet, necklace, watch, or even something else. What I don't recommend is picking a statement piece that doesn't speak to your personal experience and story at all just for the sake of getting one. A statement ring shouldn't make you anyone else but yourself. Given the complex structure and robust details of this skull ring, I think it looks the best with the full black outfit, which is consistent with my personal style. Since we just talked about statement rings, let's talk about statement watches. If you are not new to the channel, you probably already know my love for watches. The reason I consider this Bell & Ross BR05 a statement piece is due to its distinct structure with the square case and cockpit inspired design. The combination of grey steel dial, 41mm square case, and the integrated bracelet make a great present on the wrist. The design of the watch has a strong character but it's also versatile enough to look good with any outfit. If you are looking for a statement watch, my suggestion is to start with where your interest lies. You don't even have to be a watch enthusiast to get a watch as a statement piece. It can be as simple as if you like the ocean, then a diver watch could be a perfect option. In fact, there are also pilot watches, racing watches, field watches, and dress watches. Choosing by function and personal interest is always a better way to start your search than by trying to find something just for the purpose of standing out. Personally, I enjoy associating timepieces with life events and personal milestones whenever I can. It's a way to make a watch more meaningful and carry more sentimental value than just a regular piece of jewelry. Last but not least, this wool coat might have the boldest color in my entire wardrobe. I've had this orange coat by Gitano Navarra for over 5 years now, and it's by far the most well-made single garment I have. From the use of materials and stitching to the waist pull feature and unique double zipper front design, every detail about this item represents quality and features top-in-class clothing making techniques. Although a bold color, I don't find it as difficult to style as my blush paint common projects. In my opinion, black is a great complementary color to orange. It's classic and creates a strong contrast. It also works with a full gray outfit, it just isn't as crisp as full black.
As I mentioned earlier, a statement piece is typically distinct in one or more of four different aspects color, material, print, and structure. This hooded overcoat is one of the few items I have with two aspects color and structure, making it truly stand out in my fall and winter wardrobe. Of course, if it also had loud prints and textures, it would be a bit too much for my personal style. But that's also one of the great things about statement pieces. They allow you to have some fun and show a bit more of your personality. If you have a few pieces that you really love but don't fit quite as neatly into the rest of your wardrobe, that's okay. Finally, if I did want to add a little bit of texture to this overall look, a neutral pattern scarf can bring all the pieces together, shifting the focus away from the orange and black contrast. This one is from Ami Paris. The black and white reverse the lettering is still consistent with the all black based look without being boring. An accessory like this creates a connection between the outwear and the bottom layer. It enriches the dimensions of the look without making it too busy. From head to toe, that's how I use statement pieces to elevate my basic wardrobe. If you are interested in the items I recently purchased from Farfetch, check out the description for the links. 